Well, hi everybody out there in YouTube land. I hope you're having a great night. <coughs> um, I want to talk to you about the Seventh Commandment. And in case you don't know, the Seventh Commandment is Thou shalt not take Yahuwah's name in vain. They translated his name to the Lord and God, um, which is doing exactly what the commandment tells not to do, and that is to um, take his name in vain. And if you define vain, uh, vain means to make void, empty, nothingness. And, and that is what it, it meaningless is what it is what they did. And so we've been duped. Sorry to say, we've been duped. We have inherited lies. Um, the truth is his name is Yahuwah. His son's name is Yahushua. He came in his father's name, in his, in Abba's name, right? So, uh, I've talked to a lot of people, and, and they say, well, it don't matter, he knows your heart, and this is true, he does know your heart, but it is still his commandment not to take his name in vain, and, and you know, the rebuttal to that would be, um, well, what about the people who are blind, mute, deaf, and mentally incapacitated? And and I would say that the answer lies in his scripture. Um, show yourself approved, uh, but to much uh, for who much is given much is required. In other words, um, if you have the capability for which we have today with the internet access and everything to research and do your homework, we're supposed to seek him with all that we have. And truly, we have um, everything before us to do the homework, to research his name, and to let it be known, and to rebuke that, that lying uh, spirit, uh, for which is uh, the Satan, and, and you know, um, we're supposed to fill up our oil lamp, uh, put, put on the armor, and part of the armor is to have the sword. And the sword is the word of Yahuwah. So, we have no excuse. We have the internet. We have everything. Uh, we have his word. Um, if you seek him, you shall find him, he said. If you knock, it'll be opened unto you. So, let us take into consideration that we're subjective and not objective. In other words, we're his subjects. He created us, and we are subject to him. The clay does not tell the potter uh, what it'll be. Um, he is the potter. He tells us what it'll be. And we are to be obedient to him. And, and, you know, on top of loving him, that he gave us life, <laughs> we're to glorify his name, sing him praises in the morning, uh, speak of all that he has done. He is, he is, everything that man has done, without him, it could not have been done. Uh, this computer uh, that I'm that I do my research on it couldn't have been made without his uh, intervention, without, 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 
couldn't have been done. So we're to magnify his name, glorify him, sing praises to him. And, and in doing so, um, we give all the glory to him and to Yahuwah and to his son, Yahushua, which is him, which is the word, you know, the word. Uh, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with Yahuwah, and the word was Yahuwah, and the same, the Raha, the Rau Ha Kodesh, the Holy Spirit. Um, they're the same. They're they're one. So you know, the light. He shined his light into the world, but the world would not receive it because they love their darkness. You know, they love their evil more than they did the light. Yeah, they love the darkness. They, to hide in the darkness. I'm sorry, but this is the way it is. I mean, this is the truth. I'm going to speak the truth. If you don't like it, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to bring it to you as humbly as I can. Um, I love all of you, and I, I do not want to see anyone perish and burn in hell. You know, it doesn't sound like a, a nice place. You, well, you think about it, and uh, feel free to comment good or bad um, you know uh, I'm not gonna delete your comments unless they're um, vile and, and they speak against him in, in a negative way uh, or cutting pe people down including myself you know? <laughs> but if you want to um, dispute it that, that's fine um, I'll be glad to uh, uh, accommodate uh, as much as I can uh, with helping you to receive understanding to receive uh, I don't like to use the word understanding because understanding is to turn from wickedness that is understanding and wisdom is uh, to fear him to fear his name and, and Truly, if you fear him and fear his name, you know, you're going to do what he says. You're going to obey him. And, and the law is going to, uh, his law is going to weigh greatly on your heart. And, and you're going to obey his law. And you're going to want to um, keep his law because you love him. What can I say? Hey, I love you. Um, I hope I gave, uh, I hope I brought some um, understanding to you. Um, and, you know, have a great night. And Yahuwah bless you. And Yahushua will bless you. And the Raho Ha Kodesh be upon you all the time. And I love you. Uh, and I know you who loves you. <laughs> and you put your trust and faith in him. Put your faith in him. Pick up that shield. Wear your armor all the time. And he'll bless you. And he'll keep you. Repent of your sin. Turn away from your sin. Receive understanding. Turn from wickedness. All right. Have a good night.